you doing everyone this is gabriel once again pardon my rough voice i've been a little sick all week but we're gonna make the best out of this i heard people say too much of anything it's not good for you baby which brings me to the point about this color barcelona red mica 3r3 Pain in the butt color, I had to put a lot of base on this color. Um, but I wanted to show you my struggle here so you could um, avoid this problem yourself when you do come across a low hiding color like this one. If I could save you some pain and suffering by uh, not having to put six coats of base on something, then um, this job was worth doing so you could get some value out of it. Here on Motivated Painters, I'm a big believer of learning from other people's mistakes. And if that means you learning from my mistakes, then I'm all up for that. So uh, I wanted to show you my struggle through this color. I don't promise perfect paint jobs, but I promise that you will learn something. So I put on first coat of base. Now I put it on a little heavier than usual. I put it on light uh, usually, but this color needed some love so i put a lot more um base and th also that means that my drying times went up a lot because you can't put more paint and expect the same drying times right and it only makes sense if you if there's a bigger puddle of water the sun's going down on it if the bigger the puddle of water the longer it's going to take to evaporate so the same thing when you're applying base on a car, always remember that the temperature, the humidity, it, it all, you, you know, gives different drying times. So the more base you put on there, the more you have to let it dry, the longer you have to let it dry. So I put that one coat there. I dried it off with my blower and now I'm going to put a second coat and I'm, I don't want to fool around with this color. So I'm going to cover the whole entire hood. Um, because there was some little chips here and there that were fixed so and I want as uniform as possible this color is actually a good match um, on this car so I didn't have to worry too much about the color but I did want it to stay away from the doors I did uh, the whole front end and then the driver's side door as a blend as well because we had some repairs on the fender so as you can see I'm putting quite a bit of paint on there and I want to make sure I get the coverage. It's pretty cool to see it from up here because you can see how crooked I am. Oh my word. Wow. But yeah, so you see how uh, how I'm putting lots of base on. I want to make sure I get those edges because I don't know about you, but I miss edges quite a bit. So I'm putting on that base nice and wet. Now, I would suggest, I would recommend you put a G shade color down as a base so so you can have a nice ground coat on there which I didn't do on this car um, I, I totally forgot about it um, I will post a video on Instagram on how to get that G shade color you can do it you can mix it as a base coat so then you could uh, cover those spots of primer and make it all uniform and it's a lot easier to blend believe it or not because you're not having to cover sharp edges where the primer finishes, but you actually be able to blend it properly. So I shut off the lights and I got my sun gun out because believe it or not, this is the best way to check if you have coverage. And if you, could, you can't really see on the camera, but you can still see where the primer was. There was kind of like a, just a, a shade darker on uh, those spots so I actually just went ahead and I started basing with the lights off because this is the only way I could see when the color was shining through which told me that I needed to put uh, I needed to get the prepper to put a lighter shade of, of gray on there I believe we used G5 for this but uh, should have been probably G3 so I will show you how to mix G3 shade as a base coat. So then you won't have problems like I did here. And you can just watch me struggle and just learn from my struggle. 
which works out for you very, very well. And I get to make a video out of it that I could teach, uh, you know, some young guys out there that, you know, don't know it all. Um, and, you know, they could learn. They could learn, like, what not to do. So this is kind of like a video of what not to do. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, you know, putting on the base there. And I will, I will uh, bake this car probably for 10 minutes, like at 150 or something like that, just to make sure that we get all that water out of there. Like I said, imagine a puddle. Imagine a puddle. If you have a big puddle of water, it, it needs more time to evaporate. So there you can see I, I, t I put more base on those spots where I saw the primer coming through. Now I'm just going to even it out and put uh, a code on the whole entire thing to even it out. So this is my last coat of base. I'm doing a tight overlap to make sure everything is covered there. And I didn't really put uh, much of a control code on this car because I didn't really need it. And uh, yeah, so that was that was it. I mean, it was it was good. So there you can see it's it's all even. And now I'm gonna put my first coat of clear. Um, nice tight overlap. So you can see. Um, I, I recommend you try to keep your arms straight. You see how I have that bend on my arm there and my and my elbow? That's no good because then that way you get tired. Um, look how crooked that line is. That is awesome. Good job, Gabriel. That's me, by the way. Um, but see how I have that my arm like that? That's okay. Now, when you when you're trying to get a cleaner paint job you want to back away from the car as you're moving your way as you're moving your way away from the hood so you know i have to practice that because i, I i'm obviously not doing it there because you gotta you gotta stay with your arm completely extended when you're doing a front end especially you're doing it in front of the hood there you're doing it in the middle of the hood you want to stay um, with your arm extended all the way and then have a you know machine like motion and just back away from the car as much as you can without bending your arm and that way you won't get as tired as well so there you have it um, it lo looked great I was very happy with this job again um, but the key here guys and girls is that you need to let this dry properly you need the water to get out of there because if you don't, you're going to run into so many problems. You can run into uh, fish eyes. You can run into solvent pop. You can run into dieback. When there's water trapped underneath the clear coat, that's going to kill your clear coat. And, and it can also make a lot of problems with the peeling, with the, with the clear actually peeling away from the base. Because you didn't let it, you didn't give it a chance to dry properly the base. So... Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that um, sooner or later, you will be able to look back at this video and say, okay, I remember Gabriel told me not to do this. So I, I, I got to make sure I don't do this. So like I said, the more base you put on, the longer that it has to dry. Um, I want to say thanks for you to watch for watching. I'm, I'm so grateful that you spend the time to watch this. If you watch this far, Man, I'm I'm so grateful. Like seriously, I make these videos to help people. They're they're not perfect. They're not super professional. They're not the best video editing, but uh, I'm trying to to make it the best I can with the abilities that I have now, and and I'm trying constantly to get better so I can provide better value to you guys. And hopefully, you learn something on the way. Um, I want to say thanks. There's so many uh, stuff going on on Instagram. I encourage you, even if you don't have an Instagram account, open an Instagram account and follow Motivated Painters. Uh, I'm really spending some time and making some cool videos there so you can learn, so you can be entertained. There's lots of stuff going on. You can see a little bit more about my life. And I show you a lot more details of uh, what I do every day. So, guys, God bless you. Have a great, great, great year. Have fun. Make the best out of it. And kick some but...